Hello everyone. When you developed the Umatlab code project, which technology or platform did you use for source control? Matlab has the capabilities of integration with Git or SVN technologies. In this video, I will introduce how to do source control in Matlab using GitHub, which is a code hosting platform based on Git technology for version control and collaboration. To enable source control integration in Matlab, we go to Preferences and choose General Source Control. We can see MathWork Source Control integration is enabled by default. In order to do source control in MATLAB using GitHub, we first need to download and install Git, and then sign up and create a repository on GitHub. In a distributed source control system like Git, we have remote repository, local repository, and sandbox. For instance, we have created a remote repository named Deep Learning for Medical Signals on GitHub. The MATLAB files will be added later. How should we clone the remote repository to our local machine and create the sandbox? To do this, we first go to GitHub and copy the web URL to clipboard by clicking on this button. Then, we go to MATLAB. We created a new folder named Deep Learning for Medical Signals, and in the blank area of the current folder browser, we right-click and choose Source Control, and then Manager Files. For the Source Control integration, we select Gate. Then we use Control V to paste the web URL to the repository path. Finally, we click on the Retrieve to clone the files from Remote Repository to Sandbox. We can see the files in the remote repository is now in the sandbox. After cloning the remote repository to local, we first need to register the binary files to prevent the gate from inserting conflict markers. Please follow the steps in the documentation session of source control integration, set up gate source control, register the binary files with gate. This figure shows the basic workflow of gate. The flows show the operations such as add, commit, push, pull, and fetch. We start with showing how to add files and how to commit them into the local repository. As an example, we created a new live script named ECG Deep Learning with CWT to do ECG signal classification with continuous wavelet transform and deep learning. We right click on this file and choose source control. We can see the commands like fetch, pull, and so on appear. We choose add to gate. The marker here changed from a hollow circle to a plus symbol. We further commit the changes with the command like created. The marker changed to a green circle now. We can see the remote repository still does not contain the file. In order to let the remote repository have the file, the push option needs to be performed. We further right-click on the file and choose source control and then select push. Here the username and password of GitHub are needed. Now we can see the file has been pushed to the remote repository. We can repeat this process to keep our source code in sync as we write more code. Besides the basic workflow, we also can branch and merge with interactive menus in MATLAB. Right click in the current folder browser and select source control branches. As an example, we create a branch named develop and switch from master to develop. Then we change the code on the developer branch. We can merge the changes to the master branch when the changes are confirmed. In the branches dialog box, we can view, switch, create a branch or tag, and merge branches. Please note that different branches can be created so that different groups of people can work on different branches with isolation from each other. For more information, please refer to the documentation session of source control integration. Hope you will find this video helpful. Thank you.